even though there was some frustration i think the the team and the fans are still confident for the games like moving forward we should definitely yeah. try to win the spurs game and the city game maybe i mean we should always try to win all games but i think that we can afford a draw in that game should also be worried and context is behind that question we can be come the end of next two games we have Tottenham away City away one of them we are playing without Declan Rice and both of them being our sort of bogey grounds I mean we did well we got four points out of six last season from there but traditionally they their places where we end up dropping points so we might be eight points off City come the end of game week five and uh, we might I mean if from whatever I have seen and you might disagree with me here because I'm a little bit skeptic about how Arsenal play but I don't think we have much of new tactics I mean players have coming in there's going to be a new LCM but I don't know how that's going to work but it's much of the same of last season whereas if you see at Liverpool if you see at City they have evolved a little bit and they're presenting new challenges to the teams so you think it's a it's a worrying time for Arsenal or do you think it should, it's not something that is, is that big, big of a deal yeah I mean going back to what you said earlier I think I don't think we were ever lacking when it comes to our tactics we were always strong in that yeah. department I think I, it's not just the previous season even the season before that I think mentality was the issue and maybe squad depth so some of that also has been resolved and I feel like the mentality has definitely improved in our team so with that experience and everything I think we have everything what it takes to win in the season like we can't really make any excuses and even losing one point is like a big blow to that expectation it's unfortunate that we couldn't win that game I think I, I would say that coming out of that game even though there was some frustration I think the, the team and the fans are still confident for the games like moving forward we didn't feel like we saw Arsenal being vulnerable or anything it was understandable you're playing with the player less right yeah, and yeah. we almost scored I think I was quite impressed with how we countered in that yeah. situation we came close to scoring twice right and it was just luck uh, I think at the bare minimum we need to win one game and I think maybe we can afford a draw anything less than that which is two losses or a loss and a draw yeah that would be concerning or a win and a loss so I think that that should be our target we should definitely yeah. try to win the Spurs game and the City game maybe I mean we should always try to win all games but I think that we can afford a draw in that game yeah. that wouldn't be so bad because you're playing against City right I think we're going to see a repeat of last season between City, Arsenal and Liverpool and I think that this year Liverpool are going to go all the way. <laughs> all the way? <laughs> you call it imagine a flex. No, I mean like they're not going to fumble a oh, month okay, okay. before. Yeah. yeah, I think they have what it takes and uh, they don't have that insane pressure and expectation, right? What was uh, on Klopp last season. So, I think that it's going to be a very competitive and interesting season. And with regards to the Spurs game, I think it's good that they lost the previous game. So, that is obviously going to affect their mentality going into this game. And they're looking a bit shaky right now. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, so, I'm not to, concerned about that game. Yeah, to be honest, you're right. Tottenham, I'm not really concerned because I think they can score goals, but I think we have enough to score more than them and not, you know, prevent their, them from scoring. So, mm-hmm. but dude, I think just the thought of being eight points behind City after game week five mm-hmm. it is scary. I mean, it is scary. I have a lot riding on it financially as well. <laughs> and my word, I have made a lot of uh, commitments. <laughs> <laughs> I have been going around for a while now saying we are going to win it 100% and it would be so fucked up if that all came crumbling down within the first month so I don't know I hope not I hope not yeah. bro I hope I hope for your sake it doesn't happen Abhinav are you confident <laughs> in Arsenal stopping City or do you think Liverpool will I mean, I'll never say Liverpool will win the league again <laughs> after the last 3-4 seasons when I think I have so much drama from all of that um, but I don't know, I think it would be very funny if Slots does something in the in his first season itself that will kind of undermine everything. I don't know, Pep, Arteta, Klopp, even everyone, right? I think it would be in his first season. Is he but that guy? Is he that guy? <laughs> he he okay. is that guy, but next season, not this season. <laughs> I think it'll be I think it'll be end of our data. Our data needs to go back in. If if it's not <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, I think but, you can wish that at your own peril, I guess, but I don't I don't, yeah. I don't think so. I don't think yeah. uh, Slot is going to go all the way. Look at look at look at Harlem and City. Suddenly Premier League has some sense and then has some shame and then really good then in the middle of the season. I don't think anyone's going to be you know, come close to in the city and the machine that um, yeah, I think I mean, we'll, we'll end up like some kind of third maybe uh, between the three of us like City and Arsenal and Liverpool I think we'll end up on the um, first and we'll next two spots 
Hmm. It's too early, man. I think at, at this point, I, mean, I don't want to make any judgment on Sloth's style or anything, no, because I still see that we can concede. We are weak from set pieces. We can still concede some chances. Like we, like we book chances today. We can score so many of them. We can get a three or a four, three or a four, four ten or something like that. So there's, there's still some work to do. I mean, it kind of helps that we played some, you know, just tips which I learned for in the first two games, and you know, there is United at this point. I don't want to kind of draw too many conclusions from them, uh, but we'll see where we are with the next international break. I think that should give us a good picture of how good um, Clark managed the expectations and all of that. Because again, we have a very weakened squad in defense. You know, what we're seeing in defense is not easy. We don't have much ability. There are not. Is and we only have Kwanza who is going to get 2,000 for Kanade and then he gets a big climb here and there. Like not, he's not a big agent self. So I think there are still a lot of things for us to kind of ponder over. Mm. Yeah, I think we'll wait and watch. And What's look. the deal with Nunes? Nunes. I thought I thought he's Nunes. supposed to be he's supposed to be serving a ban, right? But he he plays that's international ban. No, that's international. I, I don't ban. know. I think I think uh, that's yeah. international ban. I guess I don't yeah, know yeah. if it's up to you know, another club level. Uh, uh. The Nunes deal. Known as, I think the first three games again. The reason why he probably hasn't played so much is because he was involved with Uruguay. It was you know his national team work in the 2010 at least till end of July. So he's probably given some more time. So I think we'll see more of him. Should play for this, but you know, I saw the last 20 minutes of the match today. I, I see how he's kind of screwing up his you know counter attacks and everything. I think generally. I don't think you can count on Nunes, man. I think he's just fine. He's, he does what he does, but you can't build a team around him. You can't. He's, be he's not so that I guy. Definitely, he's not that guy. Exactly, he's not that guy. <laughs> you, you cannot build a championship. Uh, you can't. You can't build a Premier League or a Champions League winning team. Mm-hmm. So you know what I'm saying? I think so, mm-hmm. so you can be a second striker. You can be this person who can just kind of come in for the ones for 60 minutes or so, and then run at defenders, and then get a chance or so. But he cannot be your main striker because he's so hit or miss. 